In this video, I will be unboxing a Fender Deluxe Series Telecaster neck with a maple fingerboard and a 12 inch radius and 22 narrow tall frets. I bought this neck through Amazon only because I get a 5% discount using my credit card when I buy products through Amazon. Otherwise, it was the same price at places such as Fender.com, Guitar Center, Musician's Friend, etc. As a side note, I usually try to buy anything from anywhere else but Amazon if I can get an exact same product for the same price or less, including my 5% discount. Not because I don't like Amazon, I do like it, but because I want to keep other competitors in business too so there will always be plenty of competition for products such as this. If you're not sure about what the radius of the fingerboard means, here is a diagram I put together. As you can see, the fingerboard on a 12 inch radius guitar will be less curved or flatter than that of a fingerboard on a 9 inch radius. So that is one thing to think about when buying a new neck for a guitar. Now, let's open the box and see what's inside. What's rough? I hope you really dig this video. Please subscribe to the Psychoto channel. Do it. Now let's open the box and see what's inside. I am especially curious to see how many holes are drilled in the base of the neck and what pattern they are. Alright, here we go. These four holes will fit my guitar. I wasn't sure if the holes would be in the right position for my guitar or not. I couldn't tell from the specifications from the Fender website, which I'll show right here for a few moments. The guitar neck was well packaged and secure. Once I got the neck out of the packaging, however, I was disappointed to find two black lines in the maple fingerboard. I later discovered there was actually three black lines, but one was quite small, and I didn't point it out in the video. Also, although it is very hard to see in the video, or even a photograph, there are sanding striations on the first fret. It appeared as though this area was a bit darker also, and the gloss coating had been applied before fine sanding and cleaning had been completed. Generally, I was disappointed with the overall quality control and I was surprised that this neck had been approved as a Fender brand name product and released from the manufacturing plant in Ensenada, Mexico. I have read good things about the Fender products built at that plant. Maybe it was just an anomaly, but I will be returning this neck. Now I wonder if I should buy another exact same product or should I consider spending more for a neck made in the U.S.? I believe they're around $400 and something. It's kind of a lot just for a neck, I think, at least for me. Maybe I'll try buying a Mighty Might brand neck, which is licensed by Fender Musical Instruments Corporation under a quality control trademark license. Heck, if they're licensed by Fender, they can't be any worse than the ones from Mexico, you would think and Mighty Mites are made in Indonesia, so they're not made at the same plant in Ensenada, Mexico. Plus, they're less expensive. They don't have the Fender logo on the head of the neck, but you can always put your own logo on using stickers. I'll have to think about it. Thanks for watching the Psychoto channel. Please subscribe and watch some of my other videos, including my music videos. Just click here to subscribe to the Psychoto channel. Well, 
What are you waiting for? Subscribe already. Why don't you? <laughs> <laughs>